get fired up, get turned on this whole time. 100%, let's go, we got this. The team in black has some of the best rugby players from Canada's East Coast. They are a tough and proud team. But today at the Eastern Canadian Championships, Team Atlantic is no match for powerhouse Quebec. They'd also have a tough time beating Ontario or BC. It does have its own huge challenges. And there's clubs in Ontario that have more members than all of Atlantic Canada. But sometimes a force cannot be denied, no matter where it comes from. Gym in the morning, gym at lunch, gym after work. She knows that she has to keep her body and top quality or someone else is going to take her spot. And she's not going to let someone else take her spot without fighting for it. Mapledale isn't really a little town or anything. We just were Y in the road. 24-year-old Olivia DeMerchant lives in this farmhouse with her parents and younger brother. Our philosophy was family first. Friends are nice, but family are always there. Olivia loves it here. This farm is in her family's blood. It's where she was raised and her father before that. Her two sisters have moved on to houses a stone's throw away. Around here, sports isn't like the number one thing. And the girls, they treat girls different here for sports. Like they can't do as much. But she showed them that they can. Olivia is driving, while speeding actually, to rugby practice. I don't come out to rugby to get babied. I come out to improve. There are no women's club rugby teams around here, so Olivia plays for the Woodstock Wildman 20 minutes away. She joined five years ago, realizing that the short rugby season at St. FX University in Anaganesh, Nova Scotia wasn't enough. Not if you want to be the best. A typical player from Ontario will get 24 to 30 club games a year. The high-performance athletes from Atlantic Canada, they might only have an eight-game season. So it's just one of those creative ways to help her develop. It is funny that they'd prance in with the ball, and then I'd just destroy them, take their manhood away. Right from the start, the men didn't know what hit them. I thought she'd, uh, I didn't think she'd hit that hard for sure. Finally, Olivia was playing real rugby, not like the days with her high school team. I know of games where she's broken girls' eye sockets and, and uh, arms and stuff like that. And just, she's going to take you down if she wants to take you down. After the initial shock, the Wildmen became huge fans. They raised money to help Olivia travel abroad, playing for her province and country. They've supported me financially and they support me as friends and as teammates. They're just really great. In 2014, Olivia DeMerchant from that Y in the road became the first player from New Brunswick to play for Team Canada at the Women's Rugby World Cup. Last year was huge for us. We all got together, came here actually and watched the game. We were starstruck. There was one game where she got called into the play. Olivia DeMerchant from the Woodstock Wildmen. Olivia DeMerchant from the Woodstock Wildmen. Holy cow, like I, we were just jumping up and down. Like they said Woodstock Wildmen on, like, you know, like that's my friend playing. Team Canada beat host France en route to a silver medal, Canada's best Rugby World Cup result ever. 
it's a big deal for us, obviously, but it's also a big deal for, for these kids to come in and know that you can come from here, you can play rugby, and you can be very successful at it. Each time Olivia leaves for another tournament, it gets a little emotional. She knows one day soon it may be for good. She needs to up her game, and that won't happen if she stays. I think she got the potential to be the, one of the best in the world, honestly. If we can expose her to more high-level games and practice, who knows? I also know what she has to do, and I know it's not here. So. I'm a really big family person, but I know I can't stay here and not play for eight months of the year. New Brunswick's always going to be my home. It's always going to be my beginning. To know that they want to support me that much means a lot to me.